calculations are in, and we now know what kind of rebate Oregon taxpayers will get. That's right, but there is still plenty of debate about whether this is a good thing. Our Chris Woodard is following the money, Chris. And the good thing is that this suggests the economy is growing. State economists today even pointed out increasing income levels and decreasing unemployment. And those that approve this kicker are for the kicker, say you give people that money, they're going to spend it, and that will continue to help. Other argues the system is broken, and you shouldn't be getting this money at all. Well, it sounds great to me. You can hardly blame anyone for being happy about it. Money in my pocket's always a good thing. $124 coming to the average Oregonian. That's 15 extra shrimp salads at this guy's lunch stop. Or money you could spend any way you like. I think, like I'm not going to like take it and spend it on like a vacation anywhere. I think I'm just going to use it towards the things I normally have to pay for, you know? Today, state economists made the kicker rebate numbers official. The bottom 20% of taxpayers will get $10. The average taxpayer will get $124, and the top 1% of taxpayers will get $4,600. That is $402 million the state of Oregon is giving back. This one won't feel as, won't feel as bad in terms of the budget, budgetary impact, nor will it feel as good for the folks uh, getting the money back. The last kicker rebate came in 2007. It happens when the state collects more than they expected in a two-year budget cycle. We asked if that's a good thing for the state. So it's based on a completely artificial idea. Some people think that uh, the kicker actually means we have more money than we need. The reality is exactly the opposite of that. Some argue the money should go back into things like education. Some say $124 a person isn't worth the trouble. Is the kicker still a good idea for Oregon? Well, I think it's, it's, it's not the best policy, but I think it's symptomatic of a larger problem, which is our, our entire tax code needs to be overhauled. It really does. But the kicker system is part of the state constitution. So, good for the state or not, you're getting it. If I were to do it, I would have a different kind of a, a surplus mechanism, but uh, it's what we have now. And until somebody wants to go out there and put up a statewide vote to change it, uh, we're living with it and moving forward. Personal income tax, just part of it. There's also a corporate kicker coming. All that money goes directly to schools, but as far as the total amount there, that's still being determined. And people don't run out to their mailbox to look for the check in the mail, right? Yeah, you used to get a check. That's not how it works anymore. At this point, it's a rebate or a credit when you file your income taxes next year. Right. It's Good not as fun, though. <laughs> no. I mean, getting that piece of paper in your hand. If you're anxious to spend it, the check is a little more fun than right. waiting around several months for a credit. Gotcha. Mm. All right. All right. Change